Hey guys, so in this week's episode of Make It With Calvin, I'm asking a genuine question here. What the heck classifies as a clone and what the heck does not classify as a clone? Now, the reason why I'm asking this is because it seems like every few weeks or a month or so on social media, you see people claiming that a certain brand of machine that is made in Europe that is extremely popular with people, it's marketed around the $800 price range, has a bunch of what people classify, and I'm putting this in quotes as a clone, for cheaper prices from other companies that are imported from overseas, namely Asia, but you know, things are made everywhere these days. So the point is, what classifies as a clone? And I'm intentionally keeping names out of this because I'm not accusing anybody of anything. I'm just saying that this is a really interesting question. And any time that you claim that something is or is not a clone, you get people from both sides going, oh, it's a clone. And you get the other people going, oh, no, it's not a clone. And it's like, where do you draw the line? Now, in my personal opinion, any machine like my artillery 3d sidewinder x1 that's behind me right now that's running that has a moving bed i classify that as a moving bed or a general term is like an i3 style machine now that being said my hick top idex to the right of me is also a moving bed i3 style machine that happens to have a second independent extruder on it and then if I look at my GTEC A10, which I don't have on me right now, that one is the same style as well. And then I look at all the other printers out there that are the same style and you go, okay, so where do you draw the line on stuff being a clone? Technically, you could argue that they're all clones of the original i3 style machine and people have done their own modifications and made them into their own machines. You got the artillery with the ribbon cables, you got the Hickstop with the independent dual extruder, you've got like the A10M, which has the mixing head. But the point is, they all share the same core stuff and things on them that make them run. So the real question is, is that a clone? Is that not? And honestly, I would loosely classify them as a clone of the original idea. But where do you, where do you draw the line? I think a lot of it boils down to brand loyalty and the reputation behind the companies and this and that, which is completely understandable. But let's jump over to eBay and Amazon and get your guys' opinion. And at the end of this, let me know what you think down below. I'm not necessarily saying that my viewpoint is right or wrong on all of this. Definitely not. I'm just saying that this is just my own personal take on the thing. Um, does it print? Does it work? Is it safe? That's really all that should matter at the end of the day. I understand certain brands they have a better reputation than others and certain brands build better machines than others but at the end of the day if it works and it gets the job done it doesn't try and kill anybody is that all that matters i mean i drive a 96 civic dx my dad has ancient cars that sometimes overheat like his studebaker they took out the other week to go to a little event and well it's happily it overheated along the way does that mean that his studebaker is any less of a car than my honda because my honda can drive full tank of gas for like 350 miles somewhere with no issues and his car probably went about 115 miles and overheated no they're both cars at the end of the day they both get you from a to b so sound off below let me know what you think but let's jump to the computer first and see what a quick search for an i3 style machine gets us and then go from there okay so here we are on ebay which i know some people use to buy printers off of and you'll notice I have only used the keywords i3 3D printer. So scrolling through here, a lot of these designs look pretty similar. Oh, hey, look, there's uh, one of the ones we we're talking about. But as you can see, they all share, relatively speaking, the same moving bed style, the moving Z and the moving X. And that's kind of interesting because some of them use, you know, the certain brand name that I'm not going to say out loud on them. But the point is, they all look just about the same, which is interesting. I mean, obviously, you could argue, well, some of them are using aluminum extrusion, and some of them are using a hybrid, and some of them are using rods. And the point is, at their core, they're the same style of machine. Now, if we go over to Amazon, which is another super popular buying website, you'll notice same style, same style, oh look, aluminum extrusions, um, eh, that one 
one's not going to count, but, you know, big deal. Then we've got some more of this, some more of this. Oh, look, that doesn't count, that doesn't count. But the point is, oh, look, here's another uh, very popular brand. This one uses the moving bed, goes across and Oh, hey, look at that. That thing looks a lot like the other printer that has been not mentioned. But you guys kind of get the point here. A lot of these machines share the same design. Okay, those don't count. A lot of these share the same design. Does that mean that these are clones? I mean, because technically, this has a lot of stuff in common with this, which has a lot in common with that, which doesn't have in common with that. But the point is, where do you draw the line? What's a clone? What's a not clone? Are they clones? Are they not? Are they copies? Are they rebrands? You tell me.